Hey guys, it's Forsaken Reality here. In this one, we're going to be looking into projectile replication. So at the end of this video, we'll be able to replicate the CR across offline. And I used my um, project for camera shakes. All I, all that's really done in here is I added the camera shake and the automatic shooting. Basically, the button I created a boolean if the button's pressed and if it's released, it will automatically fire. But this is the only real difference in this project. So without further ado, we will get into setting up our projectile replication. So I'm just going to move my test project out of the way there. And the first thing we're going to want to do is open up our first person character. And you'll notice there's a couple of differences here. If you just made a blank project, because I'm using my, my uh, project from before for my uh, camera shakes. So basically the only difference is, is I have this montage play disabled and dragged past these booleans were added for left mouse presses you can create those they used to determine if your left mouse is pressed or not just uh, create a variable create the variable and you drag it in set it and set it again and you tick one and plug it in for the input fire and this is where we're going i'm just going to take this off because i'm not going to be using the animation in mind you can keep this here or use it if you plan on using your animation but basically well, all we're really changing is this spawn projectile and this camera shake was just added here and this right here for the uh, automatic shooting. So basically, if you didn't do the camera shake project, you could just, and you wanted to set up the automatic shooting, you could just plug this in from drag out from your play local start location, create a delay node, drag out, promote to a variable fire rate, you can just set that to 0.1 or whatever you want your fire rate, left mouse, and you just drag out of that and plug it into here. So basically now we are successfully looping between this location. So we're coming out of here, going into the delay and coming out of here. And if we release the button, means this will be false, so there will be no more firing. Automatic fire. Just a pro just quick prototype setup that you can set up if you want. But we don't really need to. All we're really going to be dealing with is this spawn projectile node right here. So none of this should cause any issues with your own project. I'm just going to re-plug this in the way I had it before, since I like the camera shake. Have that looping there. And basically we're just gonna be dealing with this spawn actor. So the way we're gonna do this is we need to have it running on the server and the client. So we'll just search for a custom event. And this is gonna be server underscore um, spawn actor. You can say spawn projectile. But this is a spawn actor, which is spawning the projectile. So you can reuse this for other actors that you're spawning that you need replicated. And you will also want custom event, multicast, spawn actor. And we're going to run on server, reliable. Multi-class, reliable. I'm going to drag it up here and just spawn actor from class. 
and plug this in like this. You might need the owner and the instigator at some point for in case you decided to use it for other read other things. And but for now I'm just gonna plug this in, spawn actor, and we're gonna look for a multicast spawn actor. Skip the target because that's just getting the self. So you're getting this self-reference so you can get get this over here, which it's already in the character, so you don't need to plug that in. And we're gonna set plug all of these in so that we can set them per event. And comment. And that's our re replicated projectile spawn here. Just gonna set a few colors here so that we can tell what I what I did. Pretty much a prototype since it's not just used for testing. There that now we know exactly what I've changed. Everything here should be exactly the same other than me moving that up. But we have our spawn replicated. I'll name that, rename that the actor spawn. And let's give an example is the projectile. So we we'll want to Call our server spawn actor. Hold control. And you can drag all of these into the hair at once. And you can continue holding control and just drag everything out of this one and connect to this one. And we'll always spawn, ignore collision, delete this. And there we go. We have our server spawn projectile. I'm just gonna on success so that if I compile, it'll automatically save if there's not gonna be any issues or errors. And it seems we forgot something here. Yeah, we forgot to put our projectile class in. So you wanna set your projectile class. That's the class we're gonna spawn, but any class you wanna spawn, like you can spawn. I don't know, your character, you can spawn any blueprint, like if you have currencies or other items you want to spawn. And I'm just going to show you that it's working on clients. Check out the same. Just scrunch that. And also, you'll want to hammer shakes work across all of them. And that's going to be everything for this one. If you found this video helpful and want to see more, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button so you don't miss out on any new tutorial video uploads. If you have any questions, suggestions, or comments, feel free to leave those in the comments section below or join my Discord community using the link in the description. Thanks, and I'll see you all in the next one.